Hey everybody, welcome to episode six of In The Shop. Okay, so in the shop today we have an Audi Allroad. As you can see here behind me, this thing does not have an engine in it. Uh, this is something that can happen on all Audi engines that have a longitudinal engine uh, instead of a transverse one. Longitudinal means front to back as opposed to side to side. And so we are doing a repair on the engine with the engine out of the vehicle. So let's take a look here. On this engine, uh, this is the CAED engine or actually in this case, this is not a CAED, but most commonly they are CAED, and that is the most common longitudinal engine engine code. Issues that they had with these engines was the relating to oil burning, and that was an update on pistons. We have, a, we have an article talking about common problems on this particular engine, in which we discuss a little bit more in detail the issues around that. So what we're gonna have to do is remove the cylinder head of this, of this engine, and then we're gonna have to put the engine on a stand, flip it over, get the upper and lower oil pan removed so that we can access the bottom of the engine. Then we're going to unbolt the rods from the engine, pull the pistons out of the top so that we can install our new pistons. So here's an, one of the new pistons. These are going to be what you need to prevent your oil burning issue. They're updated ones. The previous generations had issues, so you have to update to these fancy schmancy new ones. So what we were gonna do is you'll take the rod, remove the wrist pin from it, put this onto the new one, put your wrist pin in, reinstall them all into the engine. Obviously use a ring compressor to get all these things all squeezed down so you can get them in the cylinder. And then you can reinstall this and then put the engine back in the car. Now the reason why on this particular engine and uh, we have to actually remove the engine from the car is because the rear main seal on the back side of this engine actually bolts to the oil, the lower, the upper oil pan. So you have to remove the engine to take these pistons out. On a lot of other cars, you'd be able to just remove the pan and take everything out and do rebuild this engine inside the car. But because of that situation, there are bolts that run horizontally into the upper oil pan, which means without taking out the engine from the trans, you cannot remove the upper oil pan. Now we're gonna get this engine reinstalled into our engine bay and John's gonna get it all taken care of and buttoned up. Thank you so much for watching In The Shop 6. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.